Hey, this is Sundar from C4E Tech and welcome to another episode of C4E Apps. Before we start, thanks to you guys for all the app suggestions that you tweeted out on Twitter using the hashtag C4E Apps. Once again, this week, I tested out a good number of apps and here are five that I feel you should probably be using in 2017. So without any further ado, let's get started. The first app on the list is Google Photo Scan. This lets you turn your printed photos, those from your 80s and 90s, into digital images. All you have to do is place the printed photo on a flat surface, preferably with a contrasting background. Once you focus on the photo, four big dots will appear over it. You just have to move your phone over each of them and wait until the circle is filled in. That's it. There's nothing else we have to do. The photos are automatically cropped and color corrected. If you want though, you can rotate the photo or adjust the corners. Tap save all and they are all saved to your device. The app says you can view them in Google Photos app, but any gallery app should do. The results are okay. They aren't as good as the ones you get from traditional scanners. That said, this method is quick and inexpensive. The next on the list is Monospace. This is a note taking app that concentrates on the content rather than the user interface. There's not much clutter, it's very simple. That said, there are a few things you need to know in order to use the app to its potential. For example, at the end of every note, you can add tags to it for better organization. Like here, let me go type hashtag review. You can now find the note under the review tag or folder. You can also nest tags. Let me open it again. Type hashtag flagship next to the review tag. This way you can organize the notes efficiently. Formatting is easy. Just highlight the text you wanna format and all the basic formatting options show up. Other basic functions like cut and copy can be found here. Once you're done, you can opt for any export option. For more formatting functions and cross device syncing, you could get the pro version. Moving on, these days we find some popular phones with the scrolling screenshot feature. If that's something you want but your phone doesn't have it, worry not, we have Stitch and Share. And it does exactly that. All you need to do is open it up, tap automatic capturing, and tap start. Now navigate to, well, whatever you wanna capture. Tap this floating icon over here and start scrolling. Pro tip, scroll 3 fourths of the page at once. And when you're done, tap save. That's it. It works really well, provided you scroll properly. Yeah, I know the whole process is a bit of a hassle, but it works well. It combines the screenshots flawlessly. That's it, there's a watermark at the bottom of the resulting screenshot. To remove it and remove ads, you can purchase the premium version. Moving on, have you received a phone call or a message while riding a bike with your headphones on and had to stop just to know who it was? You probably have, but you don't have to do that now, thanks to Shouter. This app basically reads out notifications. It'll tell you what type of notification it is, whether it's a phone call, a SMS, or whatever, and also tells you who it's from. The voice plays along with the ringtone, but it's still clear enough for us to grasp what it says. Here's a quick demonstration. You got a message from Ash. Additionally, you can set silent hours and select muting options. The best thing about the app is, it works even with third-party apps. I've enabled WhatsApp notifications and it works flawlessly. With that, we get to Photomath. This is an app that would help you with your math homework. All you have to do is snap a picture of a math equation and it instantly displays the answer. Cool, right? What's even cooler is that it provides step-by-step -step instructions on how to solve the problem. The app rarely fails to identify the equation. In such cases, you can make use of the inbuilt calculator. There's also a toggle for flash just in case you need it. So that's it, five apps that we feel you should be using in 2017. Hit thumbs up if you liked the video, or if you didn't, do let us know what we missed out on in the comments below. And do make sure to send in your app suggestions on Twitter using the hashtag C4EApps. For more videos like this, hit that subscribe button down below. Also make sure you do this to make sure you get notified whenever a new video goes live here on C4E Tech. Thanks a lot for watching. This is Sundar from C4E Tech, leaving for the moment. Have a great day.